All right, chip timing for the Cedar Ultra. Make sure chip reader wireless router is plugged in and connected to a power source. And then make sure antenna is connected to antenna number one on the chip reader. Then here in the setup, chip timing is turned on. We go to setup here, specify reader. IP address, so that's the address on here that it, the tablet's gonna be looking for. So 192.168.1.1, and we're only running with one antenna, so we need to make sure that it's set to just check one antenna. Click on done, then we hit test connection. Make sure everything's good. Oh, except need to make sure that we are connected to the router. And this is going to be RSWR. Connected, no internet, done. That's good. Now we hit test connection. Connecting. Connected. Good. Good to go. Tablet will tell you there's no internet. Nobody cares. Okay. Close. So, one timing chip per racer using partial chip ID matching the last eight digits that are what's been entered into the start list. Uh, do not redetect the same. Uh, do not detect chip after start. We'll give them a minute to clear the start area. And redetect so once they complete their lap, we'll give them a minute before they got to get their butts out of the finish area. Okay. Uh, chip start time doesn't matter. Chip detection is going to be first chip read. And then options. So time and precision, tenth of a second. Good enough. Start list. So this has been set for individual start. So everybody's entered in here. This is where you can see their names and what number they get. Hit start, and now you're gonna start the race clock and give them about a minute warning, or maybe a bit more. So we start the race clock, we're in fast tap view, we wanna go on show name, and now, so all the people that are lined up on the start line, so the 24 hour races that are gonna be starting, click the name, Darren, Greg, Leah, people that are racing 12 hours at night, tap their name as well, and then we hit tap same time to start. So runners ready, five, four, three, two, go. And away we go. Now if we have somebody shows up late or say Dominic decides he wants to do his run at night instead of the day, and now we can give Dominic his timing chip and we can say, okay, Dominic, are you ready? Five, start time is pending and ready. And in five, four, three, two, one, go. Now when we're looking at the clock here, you can see these guys have been going for 30 seconds. Dominic has been going for six because he started later. Uh, and then as the other riders or other racers come through and get ready to start, that's how you're going to start them. As they come around, they're going to come past the start finish line and you're going to hear the, the chip reader will automatically beep for them. Just for an example here, I'm just going to tap these guys through. So. If something happens and Greg happens to be hanging around and that wasn't supposed to read or, you know, his shoe got, his shoelace came untied and he stopped retying his chip right again while he was hanging out and you need to cancel his timestamp for that, just go right here, hit the sequence number, so number seven, we're getting rid of that timestamp for him. Tap that. Are you sure you want to cancel the entry? Yes, we want to get rid of Greg's time. Done. Bam. Done. Away you go. After the race is done, so when the 12-hour people are done, collect the timing chips back, get them in the box, keep them away from the finish line. Uh, but once everybody's done, everything's clock stopped running, everybody's done for the day, you've counted all their laps, you want to hit race control. And we are going to go and finish race. Just like that. So race with no laps because they didn't show up, so we mark them as DNS. And Bob's your uncle. Well, we're just going to cancel that. I'm going to go here. I'm going to restart this. 
there we go so now everything's set up and ready to go but let's go back to chip timing settings because you want to double check that before you actually start the race so we're just going to go back to start list back to options back to chip and here we are so when you get ready to go plug in the router connect it to the antenna number one make sure that you're connected to rsw 400 and then test connection make sure you're ready to go connecting connected good way to go that should be it easy peasy i will have timing chips in this tote tablet chip reader cords uh, usb cable to keep the tablet charged and the coax cable in a box that will be at my house just message my wife and she will uh get you set up thanks